Hey everybody, this is Dean DaCosta, continuing our series on the uh, IntelliTechniques uh, OSINT Open Source Intelligent Tools. In this case, we are looking at the custom domain search tools. I have already put in a domain that's owned by somebody, uh, and I've populated all the different choices. What I like about this is look at all the places you get to search and try to find info. You even get to try URL shorteners, which is amazing, and then of course you get all this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start real simple. I want to know who owns it. I want to see if I have any contact information about you. So we're going to just do a who is, a, a who is. It's a favorite search by everybody. We all like it. I'm going to just put a who is and let's see what we get. Hawtree US. We don't get an email address. Now. Oh, wait a minute. Down here, Chris Hawtree. That's the man. We get an address. We get a phone number. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, and we get an email. Yes, it worked. Is it amazing when things work? And, and and just look at all the places you can search. Domain history, whosology, subdomains, IP addresses, all sorts of stuff. And then down here you get your bit.ly, your Googles, and all sorts of URL shorteners to try to find information based on the shortener. Really, 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 really neat stuff. And, uh, of course, you can do them all, Google Cache, all sorts of areas. And this is it. This is what you do when you have a domain and you that somebody owns. You're, you're trying to find that candidate. You found they own the domain, but there's still no contact information. You stick them in here and just go right down the list. You're going to find an email more than likely. So there you go. This is simple and direct to the point. This is Dean DaCosta, and this was the IntelliTechnique OSINT Domain Search Tool.